This victory for the Lib Dems here in what was Neil Parrish's old seat, your former colleague, is this just a protest vote or do you think actually in seats like that, the Tories are in for one hell of a ride? Well, I'm not going to gloss over the, the result. It was a very bad result. It was the biggest swing that we've seen, even bigger than the one uh, when Owen Patterson stood down. Um, what, what do we read out of these things? You know, poor turnout, you know, nothing like a turnout you'd see at a general election. Uh, I think if you really want my honest opinion as to why uh, those seats went so badly, uh, was the nature of why the previous MPs left. And when MPs le leave under a cloud, I mean, Wakefield, a very serious cl uh, cloud, uh, the MP convicted of a, a sexual offence against a minor and now doing time for it. That's a very, very bad place to be starting an election campaign. And then Neil Parrish in, in Honiton and Tiverton, again, uh, a fairly lurid story that doesn't go down well with voters who, who really don't like by-elections. They want uh, you know, terms to continue and then to make their choice at general elections. But, you know, all in all, uh, parties never, incumbent parties never do very well at by-elections. I'm not going to gloss over that there's reason for this and reason for that. Uh, but in Wakefield, which was a very strong you know, red wall seat from years ago, Conservatives hadn't held it for 80-odd years, uh, not entirely unexpected, but not the type of big swings that you'd expect and need uh, Labour to make if they're going to have any chance of winning a general election. Uh, but in those Lib Dem facing seats, uh, yeah, th there's going to be some worry about that. Of course there will be. And there was always, in times of old, a traditional liberal vote. Uh, that was a liberal vote. It wasn't a Lib Dem vote, but it seems to have, have gone over to the Lib Dems as, as the potential challenger party. But what is really bizarre, Darren, is that in both of those seats, very much leave seats, People have, have selected, I know on poor turnouts, in a parties that are completely contra to that very big constitutional and democratic decision. I mean, in Wakefield, uh, they've, they've reselected a, a Labour MP. And let's not forget what Keir Starmer was doing during that uh, parliamentary period between 16 and, and 19. He was doing everything he could to frustrate that Brexit referendum. Uh, and then, obviously, Ed Davey and the Lib Dems. Nobody really knows what they stand for anymore. But one thing I do know what they stand for, they don't like Brexit and will do everything they possibly can to water that down. So for the electors to go to them is a slightly bizarre event. But of course, there's a lot of annoyance about a number of things. Uh, I mean, cost well, of living, exactly, did that play, play a part? But, you know, frankly, can the Labour Party or the Lib Dems do anything about cost of living? I know one answer to that. Absolutely not.